<laughs> um, back again. I think it was who was your dream opponent? Um, Sammy Callahan. Fuck it. I want I want to wrestle him like big name match somewhere uh, somewhere in Philly. I like he's amazing fucking talent. You know, um, actually like. He was one of the people I kind of looked at as far as indie, indie wrestling. Like I thought he was one of the people that really took it to the next level. You know, so I, him, definitely. Uh, so what are your favorite match types? Ladder match, cage match. <laughs> no dress. <laughs> no dress match, but yeah, definitely ladder uh, match, cage matches. Like so have you worked for any other federations? Yes and no. What, what, what happened? Here's, here's the problem. So, I was booked to do one CW, the last one CW show, but transportation issues happened and creative issues happened, so I didn't take the show. Uh, I was supposed to be on another one. I was supposed to be a, a lot of shows, but it's always it's always something different that goes on. It's like, you know, got a lot of politics behind this shit, you know? So, I want to, but politics. Uh, so how'd you get signed to a sports manager? Oh shit, don't worry about that. <laughs> Next question. Um, have you won any titles in your career? No. Not yet. Not yet. If you had any advice for somebody pursuing a wrestling career, what would they be? Make sure it's something you want to do. Make sure. Um, make sure you respect what you do. Make sure you respect it. Make sure it's something you want to do. And do it to the fucking fullest. Don't be bullshit. Because a lot of motherfuckers get into shit and think it's fucking easy and it's not. So definitely get your shit, get your shit done. Motherfucker. So describe what kind of wrestler are you? Or are you trying? What kind of wrestler are you trying to be? Um, I would say technical, more technical. More technical now. Yeah. I gotta do all that flipping shit. Yeah. You follow any sports other than wrestling? Football. I follow football, baseball. That's really all yeah. Here's your Here's your favorite teams? Yankees. Yankees, Yankees and Colts. Colts is bad now. Yeah. Colts is bad. They're they going downhill. Colts so, going downhill. What are your hobbies outside of the ring? I'm a game. Man. I'm a game. I got every goddamn game known to man right now. I'm wiping the admin. Just trying to get rest of this shit. I got anything. Any system, holla at me. I got every game on every system, holla at me. Any time. I take them all comers, no matter. Uh, so does your character relate to you outside of the ring? Yeah, he's an asshole. He's an asshole who speaks his mind. I'm the same way outside. I'm easy to get along with, but at the same time, you know I'm saying? Like, say, like my character is kind of, it's kind of like me, but just a different name. So kind of like, you know, I can walk outside with my head up and I say, you know, say, and say just, just say for example, you look at me on the street and say, I don't like this motherfucker, man. You know, he'll never speak to me. And I'm like, man, fuck you. You don't speak to me either. You know, that's, it's kind of like that, you know, but just a little more over the edge. Uh, so do you, do you prefer singles wrestling or tag team? Singles. Because tag team wrestling, you got to depend on somebody else too. If he don't show, fuck. <laughs> Uh, so what are your goals and where do you see yourself in five years? Five years. Wrestling wise, I think I see myself being um, a house, kind of like, you know, um, a name that everybody knows in the circle. Like, you know, a kind of a guy, you know, that people are like, oh, the French, oh, yeah, I know that motherfucker, yeah, he good, yeah, he good, he's talking to me, show. Kind of like that, you know, and I, I just come out. And people knew the fuck out of it. I love nigga. Oh, I hate him or whatever. Like that. Uh, so, in your opinion, who do you think is a better federation? WWE or TNA? Bring on. TNA is. Hey, no disrespect to none of these dudes, but you gotta understand, TNA right now, uh, they, they, they worry too much about big names. You know, it's, it's, it, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. WWE, they did too fucking much already. They still trying to live back in the old days. They can't fucking do it. Bring on it. You know, they're making stuff right now. They're making yeah. fucking stuff. Kevin Steen, uh, he's doing his thing. Um, a, lot of, a lot of dudes, you know what I'm saying? They're really becoming stars over there. And Jimmy Jacobs. A lot of, a lot of them dudes, you know, they're they making stars over there. A lot of guys, they act, they legit making stars out of them. Adam Cole, you know. <laughs> So is there any wrestler on TV today, past or present, that relates to you? No. No. Wrestling-wise? Yeah.
Uh, so how did you choose your entrance music and how does it relate to you? Um, last time I saw it was um, Jay Z and Kanye West. Yeah, what, what, what I normally do, I'll, I get, like I said, I don't have headphones now. But I normally do, I put my headphones on, and, and if it's a song, I feel I can picture myself coming out to you. And I can picture, like, I, I just kind of like, you can picture yourself going out to that. Like, that's what you, you know, you're like, oh man, I think this could fucking work. And then, fuck that, it goes with it. If I keep listening over and over, and I still get the same feeling. So, if they made a movie about the franchise, who would play you and what would the title be? He's like, look, you definitely did it on purpose. I would. You definitely did it on purpose. You that movie Michael Douglas stuff falling down? It's fucking crazy. Like, he's wild now going around. He's just going crazy. If you haven't seen that movie, go, go check it out. I'll, I'll be that movie. I'm fucking crazy in that movie. Shoot motherfucker. So this, this concludes the interview with uh, Christopher Cartier. I'm once again, I'm Jason Heffel. This is Indie Wrestling Q&A. Check me out on YouTube.